you have less money you want your boy whom you think will take care of your heritage to have good health to have good nutrition ye yaad rakhiyega majority of the family mein as family income reduces first they cut off nutrition to the girl child then to the boy child if they have less income they will have education for the boy first then the girl if the resource permit majority of the families i'm not saying your family majority of the families चलिए शुरू करते हैं अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीवन सो द फर्स्ट न्यूज दैट वी हैव टू डिस्कस इज द इशू ऑफ चाइल्ड मैरिज इन इंडिया तो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद सम बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट इज द करंट एज फॉर मैरिज फॉर गर्ल्स एंड बॉयज 1821 डू यू थिंक इट्स अ गुड एज नो क्या होनी चाहिए 2120 अच्छा that's not how your parents see this <laughs> so that is what you need to understand <clears throat> i've always told you that uh, morality varies over time what you consider just today may not be just tomorrow and crime is something that is immoral in that time frame it changes over time just for example the average age of a marriage of a girl in india used to be 10 to 12 it was very early 10 to 12 was a very common age then britishers came and there was a person known as harvilas sardha harvilas sardha persuaded the british government there are three people are very prominent in women movements in india number one is your pandit ishwar chand vidya sagar who fought for widow remarriage second your r m roy who fought against sati and third one was harvilas sardha harvilas sardha persuaded the british government to raise the age of marriage from 10 to 12 on an average to 14 that is known as shardha act theek hai to initially british raised the age for the girls of 214 and for the boys to 18 so the recently there is a news actually mujhe bhi nahi pata tha ye bare mein i used to think that child marriage has virtually vanished in india but this report ne mujhe bhi surprise kar diya i was actually surprised by this report let's see what happened so there was a study published by lancet journal it's a very credible journal Lancet. It's a very credible journal. It's a peer review journal. Peer review means if I carry out a study, I can publish in Lancet. Then anyone in on this earth can criticize, verify, and can decipher my study. So it means it's a very credible one. ऐसा नहीं है कि it is a one-sided study. ऐसा नहीं होता. It's a peer reviewed study. Anyone who publishes in Lancet journal, anyone who publishes in Lancet journal is peer reviewed peer reviewed matlab samajh rahe hain that if i publish a study it will be it will be reviewed by all the scholars and of course if i publish a wrong study then of course the other scholar will raise a question and lancet never publishes that study so it's a very credible report again a word of caution here you can dispute the absolute quantum but not the direction for example if the study says that 50% of girls are married before the age of 18 so ho sakta hai 50 na ho 30 ho but it will never be like it is zero and they are showing 50 directions are never wrong absolute quantum can be wrong because all these are surveys and studies they have a margin of error so if they are saying 50 so it may be 40 45 but nonetheless it will not be very disproportionate like 30 is there and they are showing 50 please keep this in background and now let us see what they have said a study published by lancet journal shed a light on the persistent problem of child marriage in india where it is particularly common in the region like west bengal so it's a make or baat samajh mein aati hai just because you have a woman chief minister iska matlab ye nahi hai that it will work for the women because patriarchy is a system patriarchy matlab kya hota hai any system that gives advantage to a male just because of their gender the any system any system that gives advantage to a male just because of their gender other things are not considered here that is called patriarchal system ab you can pick any system on earth so west bengal has the highest child marriage in india particularly a region in west bengal murshidabad it has the highest prevalence of child marriages we will see what are the reason what are the government's efforts and whatever drama is going on and the well known child marriage west bengal has the maximum bihar west bengal and uttar pradesh and maharashtra they have the largest proportion of child marriages in india these four states for you know ha huh? these four states and particularly child marriage is very common among female than the male child 
लेट्स सी व्हाट वाज़ द फाइंडिंग द फाइंडिंग्स जो मेरे लिए भी सरप्राइजिंग था दैट वन आउट ऑफ एवरी फाइव इंडियन गर्ल हाँ वन आउट ऑफ मेरे को भी है हुआ था वेन आई राइट दिस रिपोर्ट बिकॉज लिटरली आई वॉज ऑफ द ओपिनियन की चाइल्ड मैरिज मे है वेरी लेस इन इंडिया मुझे एक्चुअली आइडिया नहीं था कि इट इज सो प्रेवलेंट इन इंडिया राइट नाउ सो वन इन एवरी फाइव इंडियन फीमेल गेट मैरिड बिफोर एटीन सिग्निफिकेंट वेरिएशन बाई स्टेट बाई स्टेट इट वेरी बट वन इन एवरी फाइव गर्ल्स अब क्वेश्चन ये मुझे भी नहीं पता था वाई आई डिड नॉट नो दिस और कहने को मैं किसी का टीचर हूँ क्यों नहीं पता था बिकॉज समझिए इफ मीडिया डज नॉट कवर पता कैसे लगेगा इफ मीडिया विल कवर द सिग्निफिकेंट इश्यू ऑफ पीपल उनको हिंदू मुस्लिम से टाइम मिले तब तो ये कवर करेंगे वो इट्स अ नेशनल शेड एक्चुअली कि यू कॉल योर सेल्फ द अमृत काल द विकसित भारत एंड ऑल ड्रामा यू टॉक अबाउट एंड यू डू नॉट टॉक अबाउट द रियल थिंग दैट मैटर वन इन एवरी चाइल्ड गर्ल इन इंडिया गेट मैरिड एट द एज ऑफ एटीन इट्स नेशनल शेड नन द लेस लेट सी वट दे हैड बिटवीन नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन द नंबर ऑफ गर्ल चाइल्ड मैरिज है डिक्रीज नो डाउट इन ऑल स्टेट एक्सेप्ट मणिपुर so west bengal has the maximum and except manipur in all its other state the child marriage has declined this news is very 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 relevant i told you there are some favorite topics of upsc either in mains or interview ek na ek cheez puchhenge aur ye abhi publish hui hai to higher chances is to abhi interview dene jayenge bachche because interviews are going on pakka unse ye sawal puchha jayega because these people who sit in the interview board panel wo aapki tarah padhai nahi karte upsc ki they just ask question from their general knowledge and general knowledge means majorly from papers agar kisi paper ne cover kiya hoga and they will surely ask this question so women issue child issue health nutrition these are favorite topic of upsc isme har baar question aata hi aata hai doesn't matter what is the thing so lancet general has argued that west bengal has the maximum prevalence of child marriage except manipur every other state has seen a decline theek hai a good news nonetheless the research found that in one year 2021 only there were around 1. Point, kitna hua 1 crore 34 lakh child marriages happened in year 1 crore 34 lakh for girls and 14 lakh for boys so significant proportion 1 crore 34 lakh girls were married before 18 and around 14.5 lakh boys were married before 21 yahan pe that is the thing and i told you west bengal a state led by a woman chief minister i think from past 10 years or something and that state has the highest rate of child marriage and particularly in murshidabad so criticism is easy let's see what are the other finding there is another report i club this report where the lancet published hua hai this report was by plan international plan international is an international ngo that aims to achieve equality in the society All societies. So they have highlighted. Access me. I am going to ask you a question. उसके बाद हम करेंगे. You tell me this. Which community you believe will have the highest child marriage from your general understanding of life? <laughs> Hindu. Which are more backward? Which one is the maximum backward? Okay, Muslims are the most backward community in India. Which one you think now, Asmi? Sir, it is possible. Okay, understand. I have always told you that there is Girls are the bad drivers. गाड़ी ला रही है सैड हो जाओ दिस इज हाउ स्टीरो वर्क स्टीरोपिंग मीन्स यू टेक वन एग्जाम्पल एंड यू पेंट एंटायर कम्युनिटी विद दैट एग्जाम्पल यू फाउंड वन एग्जाम्पल यू Take your brush, dip in that example, and paint the entire community. That is called stereotyping. Simply stating. So, if I ask you another thing, चलिए इसका शायद आपको नहीं पता है. If I ask you which uh, society, religious society, you believe will have the highest or the biased sex ratio? Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Christian. बताइए कौन सी लगती है आपको? Christian. सर और कोई? Muslims. और कोई? प्रिंसिपल इक्वालिटी 
kids women and man equal and six are the most literate and dominant and rich community of india in spite of that they have the highest and the worst sex ratio and the best sex ratio is among christians and then muslim hindus ki bhi kam hai is samay kya samajh mein aata hai socio economic standard does not lead to better better welfare of women then what can education kerala is the only state in india with more girls than males only state why because it has 100% elementary education 100% no state in india has that high amount of education in india and that is a very clear thing more education means more empowerment and more empowerment means better welfare theek hai to stereotyping nahi karna chahiye hame we should not stereotype but common logo ko lagta hai that the muslims is the most backward community in india so we will have be having the worst sex ratio aisa nahi hai another example for among rich and poor who carry out the maximum female feticide rich people jab ki hame kya lagta hai the poor people may be committing more female feticide aisa nahi hai rich people commit more female feticide than the poor people urban areas mein there is more female feticide than the rural areas why is it so because in rural areas the women work outside in farm along with men there is a general consensus what i am trying to demolish here is biases and stereotype jo hum sab mein hote hain is another stereotype if you think जैसे मैंने आपको बता दिया रूरल एरियाज हैज लेस फीमेल फिटिसाइड देन अर्बन एरियाज विद पी फैमिलीज हैव मोर फीमेल फिटिसाइड देन पुअर फैमिलीज इफ आई आस्क यू अनदर क्वेश्चन विद राइजिंग फैमिली इनकम डू यू थिंक द वुमेंस चांस टू वर्क आउटसाइड इंक्रीजेस और डिक्रीजेस इंक्रीजेस डिक्रीजेस तब कि होना क्या चाहिए विद राइजिंग फैमिली इनकम यू कैन अफोर्ड टू गिव बेस्ट एजुकेशन तो इसके मुताबिक देयर शुड बी इंक्रीज इन वुमेंस पार्टिसिपेशन पर ऐसा नहीं होता विद राइजिंग फैमिली इनकम there is a decrease in women participation in jobs why because remember when the family income rises they will be having their women working outside decreases disproportionately so only solution to this entire drama is only one thing education no other money social status upliftment nothing works except education clear please remember these stereotypes and please remember this facts very helpful when you will writing an answer ab dekhte hain what was the findings in terms of child marriage we have seen in terms of sex gender uh, gender ratio and in terms of what do you call that uh, women status in society jaisa maine aapko shayad pehle hi bataya tha there was a study published by uh, i think times of india or indian express mein published hui thi i think one year back they analyzed all the matrimonial websites the study was finding out what were the preference of the women and how many women received how many proposal on this matrimonial website they found the woman who writes in their bio that i want to work after marriage is the least taker the number of proposal she get is the least amount so there is a perception you can verify this in your family and you can verify among your friends also particularly males if a male is well to do well to do and if we will ask them to so they want a literate woman but not a working one koi issue nahi hai record it you can watch it welcome welcome clear hai please remember these facts very helpful when you are making an argument in mains or in interview be vigilant of these arguments do not stereotype any community they have some parameter which are not working for them theek hai please remember that chaliye ab dekhte hain jaldi se almost 40% so this is the you can say another badge of honor for india almost 40% of all child marriage take place in india so amrit kal is indeed here we need to understand by using this word amrit kal swarna kal isse koi farak nahi padta if we want to improve the society aap kitne bhi naam le lo jaise indira gandhi ke time pe bhi aise sab istemal kiye jate the we are entering into the developed world फाइव ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी आजकल बात हो रही है फाइव ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी विल नॉट हेल्प यू इससे क्या फायदा फाइव ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी बन भी जाएगी तो वट इज द पॉइंट इफ यू हैव लो लिटरेसी लो हेल्थ लो लिट्रेशन फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ यू पीपल आर अनएम्प्लॉयड रिसेंट रिपोर्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ ग्रेजुएट्स इन इंडिया आर अनएम्प्लॉयड फिफ्टी परसेंट इज अ वेरी बिग मार्क दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम देखिए दिस इज थिंग्स वी नीड टू फोकस दैट इज अ गांधी ऑलवेज है If you want to uplift India, uplift people first. That is what he said. Sarvodhya, rise of all. 
his emphasis was by having this big words mother of democracy your amrit kal this kal that kal that does not work if you are not working on the fundamental the question comes is why we are not working on fundamental the reason is media i have told you the only threat to india's national security is india's media there is no other threat to india's democracy except india's media why because they don't show this aap khud dekhna ghar ja ke how many debates have taken place on this report in a functional democracy is report pe hi debate hona chahiye tha agar debate hoga tabhi to logo ko pata lagega soch hame nahi pata thi ye baat and i call myself literate <laughs> और मुझे नहीं लिटरली मुझे नहीं पता था दैट वुमन मैरिज में इतना बुरा हाल है इंडिया का व्हेन आई डिस्कवर दिस रिपोर्ट यस्टरडे आई वाज शॉक्ड सो आई हैव अ शॉक बिकॉज़ मीडिया कवर ही नहीं कर रहा है इफ मीडिया इज नॉट कवरिंग तो पता कैसे लगेगा हमें वो तो हम लकी हैं कि वी स्टडी दिस थिंग्स वरना हमें भी नहीं पता था वी विल बी इन मिराज यू नो फूल्स पैराडाइज जैसे बोलते हैं अ फूल्स पैराडाइज वेरी थिंग्स एवरीथिंग इज ग्लूमी एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग इज हैप्पी एंड बेटर ठीक है प्लीज रिमेंबर तो ये ऑन बैज ऑफ ऑनर हमें मिला है ठीक है, we should show it everywhere. Forty percent of the child marriages take place in India. Almost half of all girls marry before. Every second girl in India gets married before eighteen. Plus, forty-seven percent of women in the age of twenty twenty-four were married before eighteen, and eighty-four percent Hindus and eleven percent Muslims, and the remaining are the other religions. Means Hindus have the maximum prevalence of child marriages. ठीक है, अब let's see. वट आर दी कॉज जैसे और आपको लगता होगा इट इज बाय मेल ऐसा नहीं है मैंने आपको बताया पेट्रियाकी एक्स एंड माइंड इवन द फीमेल बिलीव इन पेट्रियाकल नॉर्म्स एंड हु इन्फोर्स पेट्रियाकी मदर एंड मदर इन लॉ दे एनफोर्स पेट्रियाकल नॉर्म्स दैट इज वट देखिए मैंने इसमें कोर्ट भी रखा है दे आर द अ गर्ल दे आर द मदर ऑफ अ गर्ल वाई यू गेट मैरिड वाई यू गेट योर गर्ल मैरिज सो अर्ली शी इज लाइक वी गॉट मैरिड एट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड द मदर शी हर सेल्फ गॉट मैरिड एट फिफ्टीन and according to her 18 year is too old for a girl so i do not feel that this is right our elders used to marry of girls before 13 and above they used to think they are sin matlab what she is saying i married my girl because i also believe that keeping a girl for a long time particularly after 13 is a sin that's how patriarchy works patriarchy is embedded in the mind अब इसके बहुत रीजंस है दैट वी विल एक्सप्लोर ठीक है प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस कोड और चाहो तो एक कोड पेल देना कहीं पे भी इंपैक्ट्स आपको सबको समझ में आते होंगे इफ यू आर गेटिंग मैरिड अर्लियर तो ऑफ कोर्स यू वुड हैव लेस एक्सेस टू एजुकेशन लेस एक्सेस टू हेल्थ एंड आपको पता है द अर्लियर अ गर्ल गेट प्रेग्नेंट एंड डिलीवर द किड द मोर आर द चांसेस ऑफ मैटरनल डेथ दैट्स व्हाई गवर्नमेंट प्रमोट 18 इयर्स एंड नाउ गवर्नमेंट इज थिंकिंग ऑफ प्रमोटिंग इट टू 21 इयर्स प्रॉब्लम ये है वी हैव लॉ फॉर सो लॉन्ग फिर भी क्यों नहीं रुक रही है गवर्नेंस द प्रॉब्लम इज गवर्नेंस यू हैव मेड अ लॉ यू आर इनकॉम्पिटेंट टू इनफोर्स अ लॉ एंड वाई इज इट सो मैं आपको एक थ्री बताता हूं आई आर से है पर काम आएगी सिक्योरिटाइजेशन अ थ्योरी वॉज गिवन बाय अ स्कॉलर बाय द नेम ऑफ बैरी बुजन मैंने इसके बारे में पहले भी बात करी है Barry Buzan gave a theory of securitization. What he says, he said security threats are not real; they are a speech act. What kind of speech act? When a person in power, like your prime minister, your president, or your chief ministers, when they refer some issue as a national security threat, the entire administration focuses on that threat only. So, for example, terrorism. How many people die in India by terrorism? A rough estimate, maybe ten thousand, maybe twenty. Up to nothing. I am saying at worst one lakh. How many people die because of lack of only health? Lakhs of people die in India because of lack of health. But health is not a security threat. Terrorism is, and that's why because our leaders in their speech they refer terrorism as the biggest threat to India security, and because of this, all government machinery. focuses on terrorism more than health if you have a prime minister who says that the only threat to india security is health then your entire administration from top to bottom will focus on health only this is what you also known as governance of weather cock syndrome weather cock syndrome says the kind of leader you have the society becomes the same 
इन एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव डिपार्टमेंट इफ मान लेते यू आर यू आर सर्विंग एज एस अगर आपका डिस्ट्रिक्ट मजिस्ट्रेट करप्ट है तो पूरा ब्यूरोक्रेसी करप्ट होगा बिकॉज दे लाइक डीएम आप खा रहे तो हम क्यों नहीं खा सकते But if your DM is honest, then the entire bureaucracy has to be honest. That is what we call rather fox syndrome. You can go in any organization, private government. If the boss of that organization or the leader of that organization is corrupt, dishonest, womanizer, then the entire organization will be the same. Clear? Please remember these two things. So what we have to do is, we have to say that child marriage is a security threat to India's national interest. Just then, kisi prime minister ne baat bol di. I can guarantee entire administration will focus only and only on child marriages. Now media cover karta hai, now apko pata hai. Mujhe bhi nahi pata tha apko chodo. Now now media cover kar raha hai, now hume pata hai. So what is the point? Clear hai? Please remember this. So please remember this theory. Securitization. The security threats are not real. They are a speech act. When a person in power gives a speech calling some issue a threat to the national security. the entire administration focuses on that issue only and that's why health education does not receive due attention in india because in india they are never called as security threat that's what you need to understand something we call human security the word is human security a word emphasized by amartya sen तो गायब हो गए अमरते वट इज इंपॉर्टेंट नेशनल सिक्योरिटी और ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी देन ही कंक्लूडेड दैट नेशनल सिक्योरिटी नो डाउट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट इट इज अ कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी इज द मेन आइडिया दैट इंक्लूड नेशनल सिक्योरिटी प्लस हेल्थ सिक्योरिटी एजुकेशन सिक्योरिटी फूड सिक्योरिटी तो ह्यूमन सिक्योरिटी इज अ बिगर टर्म within this there is a smaller term called national security but how we treat this we treat that national security is the bigger term and human security is a part of national security and that's why there is no focus on national human security particularly clear to please remember his argument that human security is more important than national security and national security is just a small component of human security which is a wider term theek okay? hai सिक्योरिटाइजेशन का मतलब होता है बैरी बुजुर्ग ने बोला दैट एनी इशू दैट द लीडर ऑफ अ कंट्री रेफर्स एज अ थ्रेट टू सिक्योरिटी बिकम्स अ नेशनल सिक्योरिटी थ्रेट जैसे एवरी टाइम वी टॉक अबाउट टेररिज्म जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान हाउ पाकिस्तान इज पुअर बिकॉज पाकिस्तानी आर्मी ऑलवेज यूज टू सेट इंडिया इज अ सिक्योरिटी थ्रेट टू पाकिस्तान एक्चुअली में द ओनली थ्रेट टू पाकिस्तान इज पाकिस्तानी आर्मी Pakistan is poor because of Pakistani army. Pakistan is right now bankrupt because of Pakistani army. Pakistan do not have a proper democracy because of Pakistani army. But yet they think that India is a bigger threat to Pakistan. Actually, me their own army is a bigger threat. They capture power, they control power, they make sure democracy does not take root in Pakistan. If hundred rupees are available to spend, Pakistani army takes eighty rupees out of it and give twenty rupees to the people. and people ask why they say we have india to fight and people are like ha ye sahi baat hai national interest ke liye kuch bhi understand securitization clear hai chaliye ab impact aap sabko samajh mein aa gaya the earlier a girl get pregnant and gives a birth there will be lack of skills lack of knowledge lack of work opportunities and most important this is what we call feminization of poverty term is feminization of poverty what we are saying since adoption of neo liberal reforms in the world neo liberal reforms means market fundamentalism since adoption of neo liberalism neo liberal reforms in the world and market fundamentalism the state is withdrawing its support and leaving everyone to market forces because of this there is a feminization of poverty isliye aajkal government agar aap when you will do economics aap karenge something called women budgeting हालांकि पेपर में यह होता नहीं है रियल लाइफ में बट आइडिया अच्छा है बिकॉज वुमेन्स हैव अ डिफरेंट रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर एग्जांपल यू हैव अ सैनिटेशन स्कीम यू रिक्वायर अ डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट फॉर वुमेन यू हैव इलेक्ट्रिसिटी स्कीम यू रिक्वायर डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट फॉर वुमेन तो गवर्नमेंट ने डिसाइड किया था इन द एंटायर बजट वी विल हैव अ डेडिकेटेड कॉम्पोनेंट फॉर वुमेन दैट विल बी नोन एज वुमन बजटिंग 
मान लेते हैं यू एलोकेट हंड्रेड रुपीज फॉर सैनिटेशन आउट ऑफ दैट हंड्रेड रुपीज ट्वेंटी रुपीज यू विल एक्सक्लूसिवली डेडिकेट टू वुमन क्लियर दैट इज कॉल्ड वुमन बजटिंग ऑन पेपर ओनली जनरली होता नहीं है कहने की बातें हैं देर डिफरेंट रीजन फॉर दिस फर्स्ट रीजन ऑफिसर्स को समझ नहीं आता है द वाई वुमन बजटिंग इज अ फेलियर इन इंडिया बिकॉज द इवन इफ गवर्नमेंट एलोकेट बजट फॉर वुमन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द ऑफिसर्स इन ब्यूरोक्रेसी उन्हें पता ही नहीं है हाउ वी कैन एड्रेस वुमन इशू सेपरेटली उनको लगता है दैट आई एम बिल्डिंग अ टॉयलेट सबके काम आ जाएगा दे नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड यू हैव टू हैव सेपरेट फैसिलिटी फॉर दैम सबको समझ में आया दैट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई वुमन डू नॉट गेट एजुकेशन एंड वाई दे आर अर्ली मैरिड because as soon as a girl hit puberty and the period start they need a hygienic place to clean and majority of your schools up bihar mein to school hi nahi hai pehle to tab hoga the thing is you have to have a proper sanitation facility separately so what happen as soon as the puberty hits period start they start to eat less drink less because if you eat more drink more then you have to go to toilet they are not functionally available in india सबको समझ इस बात में यू कैन प्रेस मोदी गवर्नमेंट स्वच्छ भारत इट हैज लिटरली डन वंडर्स स्वच्छ भारत के तहत ये दे हैव सेपरेटली क्रिएटेड अ टॉयलेट कंपलसरी कॉम्पोनेट में इन एवरी गवर्नमेंट स्कूल हॉस्पिटल एनी पंचायत ऑफिस दे मस्ट बी अ फंक्शनल टॉयलेट फॉर वुमन स्पेशली एंड इट इज लिटरली डन आई एम नॉट सेंग इट इज परफेक्ट बट नंद इट इज बेटर देन जीरो क्लियर है चलिए नेक्स्ट पॉइंट देखते हैं द टोटल फर्टिलिटी रेट ऑफ द वुमन एलिवेट टू 17% total fertility rate means the number of births a young woman in her productive life is likely to give the number of births a young woman in her productive life is likely to give it increased by 17% that leads to population explosion also and wo to maine aapko batai diya maternal and child health issue the study find out jaise for example murshidabad in west bengal which is the highest female uh, sorry child marriage wahan unhone paya That ten infants passed away in a day in Murshidabad College and Hospital. Thus, बच्चे daily मर रहे हैं. Ten infants passed away in a day. और ये national news नहीं है. It should be a national news. दस बच्चे मरे हैं एक दिन में. It should be covered in every channel and they should be putting Mamta Banerjee on a cross. ये आप तो तुम कुछ करो नहीं तो we will crucify you like Jesus. करना चाहिए. But nobody is talking about. They are more interested in Modi ji na. Today, उद्घाटन करने जाने वाले हैं. ठीक है. This is a problem. चलिए कोई नहीं. And last number of infant were born with exceptionally low birth weight. इसका और problem होता है. Understand? If you are born with low birth weight, the chances is you will attract diseases are higher. The chances you will get ill higher. The chances your height will increase are less. The chances your weight will increase. ंगनवाड़ी आंगनवाड़ी रिफॉर्म आर वेरी ने इन इंडिया मेजोरिटी ऑफ द स्टेट में आंगनवाड़ी पथेटिकली वर्किंग उनके पास ना ही ऑफिस है ना ही स्टाफ है कहने को आंगनवाड़ी है आंगनवाड़ी में क्या होता है द इन्फेंट द प्रेगनेंट मदर्स एंड वेन दे गिव बर्थ वेरी यंग किड दे मस्ट बी एनरोल टू अयर बाय आंगनवाड़ी दैट पर्सन ऑफ आंगनवाड़ी विल बी गिवन ट्रेनिंग बाय द गवर्नमेंट इन मेटरनल एंड चाइल्ड हेल्थ प्लस फूड गवर्नमेंट डायरेक्टली फूड देता है Government will directly supply food to the anganwadis. Anganwadis will provide food that to that infant. Plus, they are literate people. So they will tell to the mother and the her husband how you can take care of this kid. They can tell them that this is the government scheme going on. Get this vaccination done. Go to this office. Maybe number I can connect you. So having a functional anganwadi, we can do a lot of things. Do you understand me? So we have to focus on anganwadis first if we have to deal with this problem. the maternal and child health particularly low weight and infant deaths clear these issues chaliye ab dekhte hain what are the reason what are the reason why this drama happens most important main aapko batai diya lack of education this is a prime reason for early marriage 
एज पर नेशनल नेशनल फैमिली हेल्थ सर्वे गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ओन सर्वे Approximately 45% of women with no education and 40% of women with primary education are married before 18. ऐसा होता भी है because why? Because आपकी family की मैं बात नहीं कर रहा. Majority of the family में they see woman as a burden. उनके साथ से she is पराया धन बोलते हैं ना. So she must be married as soon as possible. बहुत से family में क्या होता है? If you want to work later, so they say get married फिर पढ़ते रहना. What they say is get married first. पर जितना पढ़ना है जब तक पढ़ना है पढ़ते रहना दैट दे लीड टू द्रूम फैमिली बिकॉज दे थिंक द लॉन्गर यू स्टे द मोर आर द चांसेज यू मे है समथिंग एंड द मोर चांसेज दैट हाउस की इज्जत विल बी एट स्टेक्स जैसे पर्टिकुलरली मैं तो रियल लाइफ में देखा है जब मैं वेर आई टू लिव अर्ली देर वॉज अ फैमिली इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस जाट थे हरियाणा के जाट तो दे हैव अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग कास्ट कल्चर जाट में बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग कास्ट कल्चर होता है नॉट मेरी आउटसाइड कास्ट तो शी वॉज हैविंग सम बॉयफ्रेंड कहीं घूम रहे थे आपको पता है वी डोंट हैव सीसीटीवी बट वी हैव आंटी तो समबडी मे हैव सीन हर एंड टोल्ड टू द पेरेंट्स कि आपकी लड़की वहां घूम रही थी एंड दे गॉट हर मैरिड विद इन टू मंथ्स विद इन टू मंथ्स उसकी एजुकेशन वगैरह छुड़वा दी शी वॉज गोइंग टू कॉलेज दैट वॉज ऑफ एंड गॉट मैरिड हर विद इन टू मंथ्स उनको क्या डर था सो कॉल समाज का ऐसा नहीं पेरेंट्स वॉट इज बैड फॉर हर उनको बस ये डर था कोई उनसे ये आके ना बोल दे आपकी लड़की तो वहां घूमती है That is one of the biggest reason that people get married. Or people marry their old girl, girls early off. The feeling of the societal burden. Okay. Social background, as I have told you, the maximum child marriage happens in Hindus, and that too within scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, and that too in rural region. Very common norms. Urban areas. Me, so we have evolved patriarchal norms to a large extent. मैंने आपको बताया था अर्बन एरियाज हैव अडॉप्टेड मॉडर्निटी एज वी कॉल इट रूरल एरियाज डू नॉट हैव सेंस ऑफ मॉडर्निटी एट सो दे स्टिल मैरी दे गर्ल्स अर्ली ऑफ पॉवर्टी जनरली वुमन फ्रॉम लो इनकम फैमिली गेट मैरिड ऑफ अर्ली जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल कोरोना सिंस कोरोना दिस रिपोर्ट हाईलाइट सिंस कोरोना फैमिलीज इनकम्स आर रिड्यूसिंग एंड सो द चाइल्ड मैरिज हैज बीन इंक्रीजिंग सो वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट दीज थिंग तीन इशू क्लियर फर्स्ट लैक ऑफ एजुकेशन पॉवर्टी एंड सोशल बैकग्राउंड अनदर थिंग ट्रैफिकिंग ट्रैफिकिंग मैंने आपको बताया था हरियाणा इज नोटोरियस फॉर ह्यूमन ट्रैफिकिंग बिकॉज हरियाणा में लॉट ऑफ विलेजेस इज नॉट इवन अ सिंगल वुमन बॉर्न देयर हरियाणा इज हाईली पेट्रियाकल बट प्रॉब्लम क्या दे रिच ऑल्सो पेट्रियाकल बट एक्सेसिवली रिच दे गॉट बेनिफिटेड बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन एंड लैंड रिफॉर्म एंड सो दे इज अ वेरी पेक्युलर फिनोमिना देर न्यूमस डॉक्यूमेंट्री they often buy women from other states for marriage and trafficking for marriage has been increasing in india like a poverty badhti hai family ki the woman tries to work outside and work outside mein things happens and the biggest point of trafficking is job lurement job ke liye you call a person and the person you capture and put into prostitution or human trafficking this is another reason for child marriage poor families are lured to sell their daughters into prostitution rather than marriage why because the poor family sell their daughter to get the money for their boys you have less money you want your boy whom you think will take care of your heritage to have good health to have good nutrition ye yaad rakhiyega majority of the family mein as family income reduces first they cut off nutrition to the girl child then to the boy child If they have less income, they will have education for the boy first. Then the girl is the resource permit. Majority of the families. I am not saying your family. Majority of the families. So that is what this highlight. The trafficking may a large number of parents sell their girls, particularly when they fall into poverty because they want money to take care of their boys. And its the main reason is that our the patriarchal norm is that when a girl gets married, she has to go to the husband's house. हमारा जो पेट्रियाकल नॉर्म है गर्ल गेट मैरिज शी हैज टू गो टू द हस्बैंड हाउस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस द फैमिली फील दी इज नो लॉन्गर अवर एसेट शी इज एसेट ऑफ अदर फैमिली बट बॉय विल रिमेन हेयर द बॉय इज अवर एसेट ही विल रिमेन विद अस फॉर एवर और कई केस में आपको पता होगा लड़के बहुत निकम्मे होते हैं टेक केयर ऑफ द पेरेंट द गर्ल टेक केयर ऑफ द पेरेंट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम लाइक हाँ पापा हो गया चलो बाय बाय चलिए आगे देखते हैं 
गर्ल एज अ बर्डन मैंने आपको बताई दिया मेन रीजन आर पेट्रियाल नॉर्म दिस सोशल ड्रामा इफ समी सीज हर विद समी एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इशू ऑफ डॉरी भी एक बहुत बड़ा रीजन है दैट दे मैरी ऑफ दे गर्ल्स अर्ली अर्ली एज में सेटिंग हो जाती है तो खान ही खत्म और ठीक है चलिए बाकी बातें और मैं उस ऊपर से दिस इज अनदर थिंग दैट आई टोल्ड यू इंक्रीज सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी दिस रिपोर्ट हैज फाइंड आउट दैट मेजर मोर एंड मोर नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स इन इंडिया आर कंज्यूमिंग देयर लव बिफोर 18 इयर्स यू आर कंज्यूमिंग योर लव बिफोर 18 इयर्स एंड ऑफ कोर्स सोसाइटी के ठेकेदार बैठे हुए हैं द मोरालिटी कीपर्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी दे ऑफन जैसे मैंने आपको एग्जांपल बताया शी वाज रूमिंग विद हर बॉयफ्रेंड समबडी सॉ टोल्ड टू द पेरेंट्स दो महीने में शादी अंडर एज थी जबकि वो 17 थी ठीक है सेम इज हियर इंक्रीज और मैं दिल्ली की बता रहा हूं आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट यूपी बिहार असम वेयर इट्स दिल्ली सिनेरियो देन इमेजिन अ रूरल स्टेट सो दिस इज अनदर रीजन क्लियर ऑल द रीजन प्लीज रिमेंबर इंक्रीज सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी योर गर्ल एज अ बर्डन ट्रैफिकिंग सोशल बैकग्राउंड पॉवर्टी एंड लैक ऑफ एजुकेशन अब देखते हैं सरकारें क्या कर रही हैं बैठी हुई हैं कुछ कर भी रही हैं कर रही हैं कुछ कुछ तो लेट्स सी व्हाट दे आर डूइंग प्रोहिबिशन ऑफ चाइल्ड मैरिज इनिशियली मैंने आपको बताया था देर वॉज अ लॉ नोन एज चाइल्ड मैरिज द स्पेंट एक्ट ऑल्सो नोन एज शारदा एक्ट हर विला शारदा फॉर द ब्रिटिशर्स एंड मेड द ब्रिटिशर टू पास अ लॉ द लॉ वॉज चाइल्ड मैरिज स्पेन एक्ट पॉपुलरली इट इज नोन एज शारदा Act that raised the marriage of the girls to fourteen and boys to eighteen, <coughs> fourteen and eighteen. But we reformed that law. We amended the law in two thousand six, and the new law is prohibition of child marriage act. Under this, a child is male is defined as twenty one, and female are defined at eighteen. So this is the, the age of marriage today. It proposes two year of harsh imprisonment and fine of up to one lakh rupee if you are found engaged in. child marriage next the act establishes child marriage prohibition officer to prevent the child wedding and raise awareness about them recently ek bill aaya tha maine aapko bataya tha it has not passed the act the bill was prohibition of child marriage amendment bill 2021 that aims to raise the age of women from 18 to 21 for the marriage pass nahi hua hai to present status hamara ye hai you have a law governing the child marriage in india the age of a girl to get married is 18 and for boy is 21 and they have a child protection officer also a problem ye kaam kyon nahi kar pate because understand ye log aasman se to gire nahi hai the child marriage prohibition officers ye aasman se to girte nahi hai these are the people of the society so they have the same norms majority of the child prohibition officer even they are appointed first of all they kya kar lenge wo when the society is complicit मेजोरिटी केस में क्या होता है गर्ल इज अंडर एज ना दे गेट द मैरिज इन अ जिफी कम लोगों को बताते हैं कम लोग आते हैं तुरंत शादी करो कहानी खत्म बिकॉज इफ दे आर फाउंड आउट तो प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है एंड बोथ कॉन्सेंट आर इन्वॉल्व द मेल एंड द फीमेल पेरेंट्स बोथ है कॉन्सेंट एंड सोसाइटी इज कॉम्प्लेस कोई रिपोर्ट भी तो नहीं करता बिकॉज सोसाइटी फील्स हाँ इनका पर्सनल मैटर हम क्यों बोले अब मेरे मत पूछो यार मेरे को जान प्यारी है नहीं हमारे घर में तो ऑनर क्लिंग हो जाती है छोड़ो क्लियर अबाउट इट दैट वी कैन नॉट गेट अवर गर्ल मैरिड आउटसाइड ऑफ अवर कास्ट इट ऑनर क्लिंग हो जाएगी हमारे छोड़े यार इतना रिस्क ऑन लेगा ठीक है अगला देखते हैं Plans and policies to prevent the girl-child marriage. Sukanya Samrit account. A good idea. Sukanya Samrit account established in 2005. Modi government's welfare scheme and his welfare of the girl. Is me? What is? The parents can open an account. Sukanya Samrit account in which they get high returns. I think nine or ten percent interest milta, which is very good. In any bank, me four to up not milta. Is me? You get a very good interest. You can accumulate your money, which you can use when the girl turns out to be 18. For her higher education or for marriage, जो भी आपको समझ में आए, both के लिए इससे फायदा क्यों? Because one of the reason of early marriage was dowry. So government is providing you dowry. Government is saying, put some money here every month. हम कुछ interest देंगे. You will have an accumulated money which you can use when you want to marry your girl. So early marriage मत करो. You early marrying for the dowry ना? You will have a dowry by the age, by the time she will convert into eighteen. पर इसमें आप निर्भया का case देखिए. 
दैट गर्ल इंस्पिरेशनल स्टोरी अगर आपको पता हो इफ यू सीन दैट इंडिया डॉटर डॉक्यूमेंट्री she uh, the parents were saving a land they had a patriarch paternal land in their village they were saving that land for her marriage she was like papa please sell that i want to become a doctor so and everyone said no is baat unke parents ki bhi respect hai everyone in their village were like yeah kyun bek rahe ho for your girl ab wo badhegi likhegi kya pata kya banegi keep this marriage mein aapko dowry to dena padega aur aise bahut se ladke usse puchha aaye iske banna bhai sa mehanga hai is milega आईएएस के बनना है दो करोड़ रुपए देश में मिलते हैं सो द थिंग इज इट्स वेरी कॉमन एंड इट्स प्रैक्टिकली फिजिबल और क्या ही लोग इसमें पता है प्रॉब्लम पता क्या है रिच लोगों की प्रॉब्लम है जान मूझ के सोशाबाजी करते हैं वो इफ यू आर अ रिच फैमिली एंड यू कैन अफोर्ड गुड थिंग जान मूझ के दे विल गिव अ बिग कार बिग लग्जरी वेडिंग दे विल हैव चाहे लोन लेके करनी पड़े बट दे डू दिस ऑरा फैक्टर इज सो हाई इन इंडिया टू अपीज द पीपल जो दो दिन बाद आपको पहचानेंगे भी नहीं to appease those people you can have a normal wedding zaroori nahi hai aap unhe bentley car de rahe ho aap ferrari de rahe ho jo bhi de rahe ho zaroori nahi hai but if you are rich to aapko deni hai isliye nahi aap dowry dena chahte ho isliye aap show off karna chahte ho dekho humne dahej bhar ke laaye hain aap isse kya kar rahe hain you are setting a bad precedence jaise aap agar instagram chalate honge to bahut clip honge sarkari job aur itna bada dahej theek hai this promotes dowry and rich people particularly promote dowry they do not do promote dowry because they want to give it or have to give it they promote it as an aura factor a social aura or sab involved hai isme sab matlab hamare neta gan bhi involved hai look at their marriages luxury marriage karwate hain crore rupaye they spend and they provide good facilities badi badi lambi lambi kare aur har marriage mein aap chale jaiye ghar us marriage mein uske bare mein badi si daa khadi hogi saji hui kisne mili hai dahej mein mili hai this aura factor is also working Clear? दो तीन रीजन है डोरी के एक तो रीजन है इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ द पेट्रियाकल कस्टम सेकंड रीजन रिच पीपल डू इट बिकॉज दे वांट टू शो ऑफ देयर वेल्थ एंड द थर्ड रीजन इज फीमेल आल्सो बिकॉज दे नो दे कैन नॉट इनहेरिट द फैमिलीज वेल्थ पहले क्या था अंडर हिंदू सक्सेशन एक्ट द फीमेल्स कैन नॉट इनहेरिट द फैमिली वेल्थ सो दे फील दिस इज अवर लास्ट ऑप्शन टू गेट अ पार्ट ऑफ द फैमिलीज प्रॉपर्टी हालांकि अब ऐसा नहीं है बिकॉज 2005 के अमेंडमेंट के बाद फीमेल्स आर इक्वल नोन एस को पार्सनर दे कैन इनहेरिट द फैमिली वेल्थ एट पार विद देयर मेल काउंटर पार्ट पहले ऐसा नहीं होता था क्लियर ऑल द थ्री रीजन फॉर डोरी सो दैट इज दिस स्कीम अ डोरी स्कीम इसे हम कह सकते हैं और मैरिज स्कीम डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन यू आर एस आई टोल्ड यू दर्भिया केस द पेरेंट्स सोल्ड ऑफ देयर प्रॉपर्टी हैड द मनी गॉड हर द कोचिंग एंड डॉक्टर नहीं बन पाई थी वो एटलीस्ट ही गॉड इन टू नर्सिंग प्रोग्राम डॉक्टर तो नहीं हो पाया पर नर्सिंग तो हो गया कम से कम एंड दे वेंट अगेंस्ट देयर एंटायर फैमिली सबसे बढ़िया बात ये है एंटायर फैमिली द चाचा माया ताया जो होते हैं ना चौधरी ऑफ द फैमिली दे प्रेशराइज द गर्ल्स पेरेंट डू नॉट सेल योर लैंड यू मे नीड इट फॉर द डोरी बट येट दे सोल्ड इट तो दिस बात में रिस्पेक्ट है उनकी पर कोई बात नहीं अगला देख लेते हैं बालिका श्री कन्याश्री प्रकल्प योजना प्रकल्प मुझे नहीं पता क्या होता है कन्याश्री प्रकल्प योजना इट्स अ कंडीशनल डोनेशन इनिशिएटिव एम्ड एट सपोर्टिंग टीन एजर गर्ल्स एजुकेशन एंड अवॉइड चाइल्ड मैरिज अंडर दिस द पेरेंट्स विल रिसीव एनुअल स्कॉलरशिप ऑफ एवरी ईयर दे विल रिसीव सेवन फिफ्टी रुपीज एंड वन टाइम ग्रांट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज टू द एलिजिबल गर्ल वट इज एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया इफ शी इज अनमेरिड बिटवीन द एज ऑफ 13 to 18, unmarried unmarried between 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 the 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 age 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 of 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 because this is is a prime majority child child marriage happens to to 18. If she she is unmarried, second, she is enrolled in in class 8th to 11th in government recognized school or private government equivalent and she is enrolled in vocational and technical training courses. If not school, then technical courses. If these three criteria are met. then you will receive a one time grant of 25000 and every year you will receive 750 rupees that is to promote that you should not marry her 
इसका देखिए इट्स अ गुड बिकॉज इवन यूनाइटेड नेशन ऑनर्ड दिस स्कीम 2017 में यूनाइटेड नेशन गेव वेस्ट बंगाल गवर्नमेंट अवार्ड फॉर दिस स्कीम हाईएस्ट पब्लिक सर्विस अवार्ड क्लियर है मतलब स्कीम अच्छी है बट ये वेस्ट बंगाल हैज द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ चाइल्ड मैरिजेस वन इन एवरी फाइव गर्ल गेट मैरिड इन इंडिया बिफोर 18 एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू प्लान इंटरनेशनल वन इन एवरी सेकंड गर्ल अमंग द वुमेन हु डू नॉट हैव एजुकेशन गेट मैरिड सो जनरली वन इन एवरी फाइव एंड अमंग इलिटरेट वन इन एवरी सेकेंड ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज रूपा श्री प्रकल्प क्या है ये प्रकल्प रूपा श्री प्रकल्प द वेस्ट बंगाल स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इनिशिएटिव टू गिव वन टाइम फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ये किन के लिए है फॉर इकोनॉमिकली वीकर फैमिली दिस स्कीम इज फॉर ये सबके लिए इकोनॉमिकली वीकर फैमिली एट द टाइम ऑफ द मैरिज वेन यू विल गेट योर गर्ल मैरिड एट द एज ऑफ एटीन प्लस then you will receive a financial assistance of 25000 for economically weaker society or what are the major needed common sense education that i told you is the most effective tool against social evil of any kind that's how west that's how kerala has achieved a very high literacy because there is 100% primary literacy in kerala and even in higher education kerala has a very good track record and that's why they are more female Than male in Kerala, only state of India with more female than male. बाकी सब state में दिया more male than female. And Haryana का तो पूछो ही मत. ठीक है. चलिए आगे देखते हैं. Empowerment of the girl. पता ही आपको bringing together child protection workers. एक suggest किया गया है that there should be a cohort of child protection workers among vital health staff. क्योंकि जैसे आपका आशा workers है. आशा workers are India's foot soldier of health. they receive the less attention but they are the most important part of india's health system suggestion ye kara gaya hai because they have access to inside information ab general case mein kya hota hai they have access to inside information because asha workers go to house to house and they assist particularly during pregnancies unko inside information hoti hai who is got about to get married who is not about to get married so suggestion ye kara gaya rather than child protection officer jo alag se dikhte hain and everyone know who is the child protection officer so dhyan rakhte hain isko kuch na pata lage inko sab pata hota hai so suggestion kara gaya hai why shouldn't we have a child protection workers not officers government officer nahi ngo people who are blended in the society unko we can align with health staff who have access to inside information they can act like a spy of these people and they can provide them information ki bhai ye ho sakta hai yahan pe ja ke check karo ho sakta kuch ho sabko samajh aa raha hai good idea hai चलिए दीज आर मेजर्स करेगा कौन मुझसे मत पूछना आगे चलो सिंबल ऑफ अनिकोगनाइज पोलिटिकल पार्टी फर्स्ट न्यूज इसके लिए वी हैव सीन द रीजन द गवर्नमेंट इनिशिएटिव द वीकनेसेस एंड टू मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिपोर्ट लैंड जनरल एंड प्लान इंटरनेशनल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज कहीं ना कहीं पूछ ली जाएगी अगला देखते हैं सिंबल फॉर अनिकोगनाइज पोलिटिकल पार्टीज यू नो दैट देर आर पोलिटिकल पार्टीज टू टाइप्स वन इज नोन एज रजिस्टर्ड Another is known as unregistered. So unregistered parties are those which have not registered with election commission. They cannot participate in election. Registered parties are those which have registered with ECI and they can participate in election. Within registered, you have two types: recognized and unrecognized. Recognized and unrecognized. Recognized are the registered political parties who have been given the status of national party. Recognized are the registered political parties who have been given the status of national party or state party. Recognized are the registered political parties who have been given the status of national party or state party. There are some conditions which are there. So recently, election commission has made new set of rules for allocating symbols to registered but unrecognized political parties. That is, in party ki baat ho rahi hai, in parties ki baat ho rahi hai. You are registered with Election Commission of India, but you have not got the status of either a national party or a state party. So, what are the rules? Rules simple are they have to provide last three year financial audited account. You have to provide your financial audited account of last three years. They are obliged to provide expenditure report of previous two years. Previous two election ki they have to provide expenditure report and last three year ka they have to provide audited account reports. 
and they can be given a common symbol application they can be given a common symbol and best point is now you can suggest symbol pehle kya hota tha election commission has two kind of symbol reserved and unreserved symbol reserved jaise for example congress has that hand symbol uh, bjp has that lotus or whatever symbol so so they these are reserved symbol they are reserved for a particular party उसमें भी डिपेंड करता व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पार्टी यू आर मान लेते यू आर स्टेट पार्टी सो योर सिंबल इज रिजर्व विद इन योर स्टेट ओनली बाकी स्टेट में वो सिंबल किसी को भी मिल सकता है फॉर एग्जांपल दिल्ली आम आदमी पार्टी अब अब हो गई है नेशनल पार्टी फॉर एग्जांपल टीएमसी टीएमसी इज अ स्टेट पार्टी तो टीएमसी का वो तीन पत्तियों वाला जो ड्रामा है तो दैट पत्तियों वाला सिंबल कैन बी गिवन टू एनी अदर पार्टी टू एनी अदर स्टेट पर वेस्ट बंगाल में ओनली टीएमसी कैन हैव दैट सिंबल But if you are a national party, then your symbol is exclusively re re reserved for entire country. Whether it's state election or whether it's panchayat or whether it's union. Clear this much? So there are two symbols: reserved and unreserved. Unreserved symbol has a pool, and anyone can choose any of the unreserved symbols. Now, under new rules, you can even suggest a symbol to election commission. If you think that you are a new party with new idea and you want your own symbol. Signifying your ideology, your work, whatever. So you just, for example, Aam Aadmi Party. Why they chose the Jhadu? Because they were emphasizing we are cleaning the country from corruption. That's why they chose that broom symbol. Clear, hai? So what are the recognition? Just I have told you. Please remember this order: election symbol, reservation and allotment order, 1968. This order, you have to remember. Under this order, parties are recognized as national party and state parties and they are given an exclusive symbol and who gives aapko pata hoga election commission of india ye maine aapko bata diya symbols are free or reserved jo bhi hai theek hai and election commission publish a notification in the indian gazette indian gazette kya hota hai newspaper of government of india gazette of india jisse hum bolte hain in that they publish a list in which they make down What is the party and what is their symbol or emblem? Okay. Now these are the criteria we have to write learn. इसमें मेरा कुछ नहीं कर सकता मैं इसमें. We have to write learn these criteria. The criteria for a national party are it must be recognized as a state party in four or. In में से कोई भी एक match करना है. You have to match any of these criteria. If you are recognized as a state party in four or more state, you can be recognized as a national party. Or if the party has secured at least Six percent of total valid votes in at least four states, and has at least four MPs in Lok Sabha. So either you are a state party in four or more states, or you have at least four MPs in Lok Sabha with at least six percent of vote from four states, or you have won at least two percent of total seats from Lok Sabha, or at minimum from three states. So these are three different criteria. Number one, you have must be a state party from four or more states. You have six percent of vote from four or more states plus at least four MPs, or you have won two percent of total seats of Lok Sabha from three states. If you match any of these three criteria, the election commission will recognize you as a national party. And election commission revise the national party list after every general Lok Sabha election. जैसा भी दो हजार चौबीस में होगा After that, the election commission will again revise the list. Recent inclusion is Aam Aadmi Party. After 2019 election, Aam Aadmi Party was included and TMC was included. Now TMC is just a state party, but Aam Aadmi Party is a national party. State parties' ke criteria hai, bahut saare. If you secure six percent of valid vote in general election with at least two seats, वहाँ पे कितना था? Six percent or four. यहाँ पे six percent or two. Or you have secured six percent of total valid votes in Lok Sabha election, and at least one seat in Lok Sabha. So two criteria: in state election six percent plus two seat, in union election six percent plus one seat. Other, you know, win three percent of seat in SLA or three seats, win one seat in Lok Sabha, or secure eight percent of total valid votes. You have to write down. There is no such thing. Okay, these are the criteria. अब व्हाट आर दिस रजिस्टर्ड 
unrecognized parties. There are two types. One, which is recently registered, unregistered party, but unrecognized, which has recently registered and has never fought an election. Second type is, which is already registered and has fought election. These are two type of RUPP. And they are given a common symbol in exchange of a promise that they will run at least means you will be registered and you will be given a symbol. If you promise karte hai, that on at least 5% of the seats, you will field your candidates. If you have to make a political party hai, just to take advantages. You make a political party not because you have to fight election, but because you want to take advantages of calling yourself political party. You don't want to participate in election. You don't want to uplift India's democracy. You only want to enjoy the political power. If you are registered, then you must fight with at least 5%. seat may fight you have to give a sum to election commission. And if you do not secure minimum vote, the deposit is not written. It acts as a deterrence so that you will not unnecessarily make a party and get registered only for political advantages. Clear? Or Yemen Apo Bataidia under election symbol reservation and Allotment order के तहत आपको symbol मिलता है, recognition मिलता है. Challenge ही वाली नहीं छोड़ो खुद पढ़ लेना. चलो इतना ही था इसके बारे में. अगला क्या news है देखें. Oh, science and tech, the weak spot of my life. Aditya Alwan. देखते हैं. What is Aditya Alwan? ISRO will carry out a critical maneuver. Jobi hai Aditya Alwan. Kya hai Aditya Alwan? Basically, it's a sun observatory. It's an observatory we are sending in the space, particularly at a point known as Alwan. Especially naam rakha gaya. Alwan means Langrange 1. These are five points. These are five points in the outer space at which the gravitational pull of Earth and the sun is virtually equal. And because of this, if you place something there, it does not move. It does not move either towards the sun or towards the earth. Because gravitational pull of both the objects cancel each out. The advantage, you can maintain a satellite and observatory at that place with minimum fuel. And that satellite or observatory can observe sun always. Otherwise, kya hota hai? for example, you have earth. Orbits ka idea hoga. There are some orbits where you place satellites around the Earth. These, this is known as polar orbit and this is, sorry, this is known as polar orbit and this is known as geostationary, near the equator. And any orbit which is around the equator, like SAO or SAO, these are known as geosynchronous. Geosynchronous, geo and synchronous means their revolution around the Earth is equal to Earth's rotation. Within 24 hours, they com complete one round around the earth. Now, it depends on how much is elliptical. Elliptical is the more than the Advantage, they stay at one place. It's an equator. Pe hai. Equator, you know, it goes from in between. So if I place a satellite above equator, it will, it will revolve around the earth just like the earth's rotation. So it will be appear stationary on earth. If I look at a satellite dekhu, which is on the equator, it will always be at that place. Because just as the Earth rotates, it will be revolve. Kar so it matches and it always focuses at one place. Baki hamari jo ye satellites hai, they often cover large areas. If I have to cover entire Earth, so I will place it in polar orbit. Mein. Okay, polar orbit, mein kya hai? Pe Earth is revolve, rotating like this and the satellite is is like this. I will cover every inch of Earth. Time lagega, but I will cover every inch of it. So these are two orbits you have: polar and geosynchronous. A special case of geosynchronous is known as geostationary, which is on the equator. A special case of polar orbit is known as sun synchronous. This is what I was telling you. Because you do not have to observe sun by Langrange point, you can also observe sun by sun synchronous orbit. Now, sun synchronous is what happens? Let's say this is Earth, this is your pole. So, is tarikhe se kuch hota hai. It is not exactly at the pole. It is somewhere deviated from the pole. And the satellite is so placed, jaise jaise Earth revolve karega, maalaya this is sun, as uh, the Earth will revolve around the sun, 
the satellite will be so positioned it will always face toward sun sabko samajh mein aaya the special case of polar orbit is known as sun synchronous and the special case of geosynchronous is known as geostationary advantage of geostationary it remains at a place on equator it can observe that place forever advantage of polar orbit is it can observe entire earth by one satellite you can cover entire earth to zyada hongi to aur badhiya ho jayegi clear this much so these are two ways of observing sun number one you can place a satellite or observatory in a sun synchronous orbit or you can place a satellite and observatory at lagrange point both things are clear advantage of lagrange less fuel is required and it is virtually stable सन सिग्नस ऑर्बिट में सैटेलाइट हैज टू रोटेट एवरी टाइम सो यू हैव टू कीप एडजस्टिंग इट्स मैन्यूवर इफ मैन्यूवर टेम्पर्स बिकॉज देर लॉट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन स्पेस कोई एस्ट्रॉइड जा रहा है कोई कुछ जा रहा है तो दे पुट ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ऑन सैटेलाइट एंड ओवर टाइम सैटेलाइट में लूज देअर पोजिशन सो यू हैव टू कीप एडजस्टिंग द सैटेलाइट एट अ प्लेस ताकि वो उसी ऑर्बिट में घूमती रहे क्लियर है अनदर एडवांटेज इट इज नियर टू द अर्थ सो इट मे बी इंटरफियर बाय अर्थ कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क Langrange is far away from the Earth. In that scenario, it can observe in situ. In situ का मतलब at sight. But so आपको पता होगा sun में क्या होता है? जैसे मान लेते हैं जैसे sun this is Earth. And Langrange point, say for example, this is Langrange one. So sun keeps on emitting coronal mass. Sun पे there used to keep on happening something called nuclear damages. Nuclear damages means fission, fusion, fission, fusion, fission, fusion. fusion, fusion. it keeps on happening on the sun that's why the sun is hot it sometimes every time it ejects a large amount of ionized particle toward the atmosphere earth ko kon bachata hai earth ke dono taraf yaad rakhiyega do belt hain aise karke kya naam hai unka cupier belts nahi kya bata raha hu main bhi ha von allen belts cupier belt to pure uske paas hai von allen belts these are two magnetic belts around the earth which protect earth from solar discharge agar ye na ho then entire communication on earth will be disrupted because the solar flares will come and they will have high amount of coronal discharge charged particle and they will interact with earth everything jo aapki ye tv wagera jo bhi chal raha hai it entire thing will be fused clear so we are protected by this von allen belt remember the name von allen Belts. So let me summarize again. So there are two ways of observing sun. One is by a special case of polar orbit known as sun synchronous, or by placing the observatory at a Langrange point. Aditya is an observatory which we are placing at Langrange one. There are five Langrange points out of which we have chosen the Langrange one. the advantage it can do in situ investigation in situ why because if a satellite is around the earth it is within von allen belts it can it can only see the sun but the sun charged particles do not come to the satellite or observatory so wo unhe test nahi kar sakta this satellite is out of von allen belts too far and near to the sun so if there is any coronal discharge by the sun it will come to the satellite the satellite will directly capture the material and analyze it like you are analyzing on a site sabko samajh aa raha in situ ka matlab clear to everyone clear hai kuch bol do bhai kisi ko confuse dekho science ek waisi mera week hai bahut mehnat kiya maine theek hai theek hai chalo aage dekhte hain so it is india's first space based observatory class solar mission observing sun from a distance of 1.5 million kilometers uh it is second observatory of sun ek aur humne bheji thi jiska naam hai astrosat astrosat sun ke liye nahi hai astrosat observe the remaining earth the remaining universe astrosat astronomical satellite it aims to uh, see the entire universe aditya aims to see only the sun that's the difference theek hai एडवांटेज वाई वी आर टेकिंग दम आउट ऑफ अर्थ एटमोस्फेयर मैंने आपको बता दिया देर नॉट विद इन द अर्थ एटमोस्फेयर सो देर नॉट डिस्टर्ब बाय द गैसेज प्रेजेंट इन द अर्थ एटमोस्फेयर द रेडिएशन द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग द वॉन एल एन बेल्ट 
none of these impact them so they can have a clear understanding of the universe clear hai maine aapko bataya diya it will be at l1 objectives i told you the objectives is chromospheric and coronal heating it will analyze them in situ because the particle will reach to the observatory it will capture the particles and then it will analyze them what is their composition what they do whatever is there something we call remember the name something we call coronal mass ejection sun keeps on doing coronal mass ejection every time payloads uh it, there are seven payloads in this naam bas yaad rakhiyega detail nahi all you remember what are the seven payloads and what they do that's it no technical details you please technicalities mein nahi jata hai ठीक है साइंस एंड टेक्मेट इज वेरी जर्नलिस्टिक देर सेवन पेलोड इन विच फोर पेलोड विल ऑब्जर्व द सन लाइक यू कैन से बाइनाकुलर एंड द रिमेनिंग पेलोड विल कैरी आउट इन सिटू पार्टिकल एंड फील्ड रिचर्स मतलब थ्री पेलोड दे विल कैप्चर द मेटेरियल ऑफ सन कोरोनल डिस्चार्ज एंड एनालाइज दम द रिमेनिंग पेलोड जस्ट ऑब्जर्व द सन दीज आर दू रिफरेंसेज और ये इनके नाम है जो भी है These are the name visible emission line corona graph. It, it will examine solar corona. Next, solar ultraviolet imaging telescope. It will use ultraviolet to understand solar photosphere and chromosphere. So, just now, you have to keep. What is the name of the payload and what it does? Detail mat karna. What are this? What it use? What it does not use? You are not going to ask. Next is solar low energy X-ray spectrometer. So, कौन कौन सी wavelength इस्तेमाल करेगा ये? X-ray हो गई. उससे पहले कौन सी थी? UV. So, ultraviolet and X-ray. High energy L1 orbiting X-ray spectrometer. It will carry out analysis of flares. Solar energy flares. Aditya solar wind particle experiment. Solar wind. समझी जाइए? It will capture the coronal discharge and analyze it. Plasma analyzer package for Aditya. And the last one is. एडवांस ट्राई एक्सल हाई रेजोल्यूशन डिजिटल मैग्नेटोमीटर सिर्फ नाम याद रखना एंड वट डिट डू दैट्स इट बाकी आपको याद रखना वट इज आदित्य एल वन वाई इट हैज बीन लॉन्च वाई इट हैज बीन सेंट टू लैंग रेंज वन वट इज लैंग रेंज वन हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द क्या बोलते हैं सन सिंकनस ऑर्बिट वट आर द एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ पुटिंग अ सेटेलाइट इन सन सिंकनस ऑर्बिट एंड वट आर द एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ पुटिंग अ सेटेलाइट इन ऑब्जर्वेटरी इन लैंग्वेज पॉइंट ठीक है दीज थिंग्स यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर अब जल्दी से लैंग्वेज पॉइंट देख लेते हैं क्या करते हैं आपको बताया वेर द ग्रेविटेशनल पुल ऑफ टू बिग ऑर्बिटिंग बॉडीज सच एस अर्थ एंड द सन इज 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 वेरी इज इन इक्विलिब्रियम तो लैंग्वेज पॉइंट इज अ प्लेस एट विच द ग्रेविटेशनल पुल of two big orbiting bodies like sun and the moon sorry sun and the earth virtually cancels each other that is in equilibrium so you can place even a small object with little fuel there are five language point as i told you ye hai aapke paas language point uh, i think this is earth isme theek se dikh nahi raha hai this earth this is l2 on the back side this is sun this is earth back side pe aapka l2 hai l1 is in between earth and sun L4 is not here. L4, L5, and this is L3. Out of all these, the best one is L1, because Earth will rotate, revolve, sorry, around the Sun. The satellite will keep on looking towards the Sun every time. Just Earth here, so it will go. So, this will satellite will go. And every time, it will focus towards Sun. Clear? So that's why we have chosen L1. Because the other people's position is different. L1 gives us the best vantage point. It is unaffected by so what we call that solar eclipse, lunar eclipse. कुछ इसमें effect नहीं करेगा. It can observe sun forever. बाकियों में effect कर सकता है. Because every language point has a different position. Clear? So you have got two answers. पहला why language because it cancel out two gravities. Why language one because it is in between the Earth and the Sun, giving a good vantage point. बाकी language जो है अलग points पे. Clear? चलिए. बाकी ये इसमें लिखा है पढ़ लेना यार आई थिंक द न्यूज इज डन अच्छा हाँ आई हैव ऑल्सो लिस्टेड सम सोलर मिशन ऑफ अदर कंट्रीज द इम्पोर्टेंट वन वन इज यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स यूनाइटेड स्टेट का प्रोग्राम है सोलर एंड सोलर एंड हीरो ऑब्जर्वेटरी 
नाम याद रखिएगा पर्पज याद रखना ठीक है यूपीएससी के नाम क्यू इन मैचिंग क्वेश्चन नेम ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वेटरी एंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे बिलोंग टू डिटेल मुझे नहीं लगता पूछेंगे मे बी इन मेन्स दे मे आस्क इफ एनी ऑफ दीज डिस्कवर समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ एनी ऑफ दीज डिस्कवर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो देन दे मे आस्क अ क्वेश्चन इन मेन्स ठीक है अदरवाइज मुश्किल चांसेस है सो सोलर एंड हिलोस्पेरिक ऑब्जर्वेटरी इट्स अ कोलेबरेशन ऑफ नासा एंड यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी इट वॉज लॉन्च इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी फाइव इट विल ऑब्जर्व सन आउटर एटमोस्फेयर एंड सोलर विंड सेकेंड इनिशियटिव एस डी ओ सोलर डायनेमिक ऑब्जर्वेटरी इट विल एग्जामिन सन एट द नंबर ऑफ वेवलेंस उसके बाद नेक्स्ट है यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी इज सोलर ऑर्बिटर इट्स ज्वाइंट मिशन ऑफ यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी एंड नासा दैट विल अभी लॉन्च नहीं हुआ इट विल बी लॉन्च इन ये हो गया है उसमें क्यों लिखा है बिल लॉन्च ठीक है चेक करना ये लॉन्च हुआ है नहीं हुआ डिले तो नहीं हो गया प्लीज चेक इट आउट इट विल एग्जामिन द सन्स पोलर रीजन एंड हिलियोस्फेयर अगला है हमारे पास जापान जापान का है हिनोडे हिनोडे सोलर बी इट वॉज लॉन्च इन 2006 थाउजेंड सिक्स कोलेबरेशन ऑफ जक्सा दैट इज जापान एयरोस्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन एजेंसी जक्सा नासा एंड यूके इट स्टडीज दर्न टू लर्न अबाउट इट्स मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड हाउ दे अफेक्ट तो सबका अलग अलग पर्पज है कोई इसका कोनल डिस्चार्ज को देख रहा है कोई इसे ऑब्जर्व करना चाहता है कोई इसकी विंड्स को नोटिस कर रहा है कोई मैग्नेटिक फील्ड्स पे फोकस कर रहा है तो प्लीज रिमेम्बर व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट विच एजेंसी हैज लॉन्च एंड व्हाट दे डू एंड इफ एनी वन ऑफ देम डिस्कवर समथिंग सिग्निफिकेंट देन यू नीड टू नो इन डिटेल वो देन इट कैन बी आज इन मेन्स एज अंसर राइटिंग ठीक है पहले से मैक्सिमम क्या आ सकता है द नेम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट एंड मैचिंग इट विद द कंट्री और एजेंसी इट बिलोंग्स टू चाइना का अपना खुद का है एडवांस स्पेस बेस सोलर ऑब्जर्वेटरी इसका काम क्या है इसका भी वही काम इसका काम है टू स्टडी सन यूजिंग मल्टीपल वो यूवी एक्स रेज वट एवर रेज दे यूज रशिया रशिया भी करता है कुछ कोरोनास फोटोन इट विल ऑब्जर्व सोलर फ्लेयर्स बाय यूजिंग एक्स रेज एंड गावर ठीक है तो दीज आर सम सोलर प्रोजेक्ट्स आदित्य पर खास फोकस रखना आदित्य को भी हम अंडरस्टूड इन डिटेल दीज आर द रिमेनिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ अदर एजेंसी चलिए ये भी डन हो गई अगली क्या न्यूज है ओहो द कंट्रोवर्शियल वन सी रूल सिटीजनशिप अमेंडमेंट एक्ट 2019 ठीक है इसके बाद कौन कहा होगा हमें नहीं पता लेट सी दिस सो दिस वॉज पास इन टू एंड रिसेंटली द रिपोर्ट से रूल्स अंडर CAA are now ready and will be notified before 2024 because there was a speech or something where Amit Shah said, "I am duty bound and I am convinced I will implement CAA before the elections." You know the reasons. Up to let's understand what is this drama. Lego, sir, can I read it? So let's understand what is the drama. The drama is you have first thing known as NPR. NPR means National Population Register, in which everyone who has lived in India for more than six months will be registered in NPR. After NPR, everyone who is in NPR, they will be asked by the government to prove their citizenship. पहले तो सारे लोग NPR में आ जाएंगे. That is, it has been made in 2011. अब दोबारा इस बार हो रहा है. The second NPR is being conducted. NPR में anyone, anyone means whether Indian foreigner. If they are living in India for more than six months, they will be asked details and they will be enrolled in NPR, National Population Register. Out of this, everyone will be asked to prove their citizenship by birth certificate or whatever certificate the government wants. That will be determined by the rules. Rules made after that. So that will create your NRIC, National Register of Indian Citizens, under Citizenship Act. Vajpayee government brought an amendment in 2003, which mandate that the government of India shall compulsorily, यहाँ पे option नहीं है, shall compulsorily register everyone who is Indian and issue them an identity card, known as citizenship card. एक आपके पास already card है, जिसका नाम है Aadhaar card. Aadhaar card is not a proof of citizenship; it is a proof of identity. NRIC में you will get another card. That will be a proof of your of your 
citizenship understand the word citizenship citizenship is a membership of a country any country ke when you become a member it is like a membership of a club when you become the member of a club you can take advantage of the facilities and also you do your duty jaise maan lete hain golf club if you are a member of a golf club then only can you, you can use their playing grounds or whatever they have outside members may not use it if they use it a fee have to be paid same citizenship kya hota hai it gives you a membership membership of what membership of state that determines all your rights and all your duties without citizenship you are nobody you have no protection of any law india mein however article 21 alag hai सुप्रीम कोर्ट के मुताबिक आर्टिकल 21 राइट टू लाइफ एंड पर्सनल लिबर्टी इज अवेलेबल टू एवरीवन इन इंडिया वेदर यू आर इंडियन और नॉट वेदर यू आर मेंबर ऑफ द इंडियन स्टेट और नॉट आर्टिकल 21 इज ऑलवेज अवेलेबल ठीक है अच्छा आइडिया वैसे भी अब व्हाट विल हैपन लेट्स सपोज दे आर फॉर एज ऑफ कैलकुलेशन मान लेते हैं दैट 200 करोड़ पीपल वैसे इंडिया में राइट नाउ इट्स 140 लेट्स सपोज 200 करोड़ 200 में से लेट्स से 100 करोड़ कम थी अब 100 करोड़ बच गए अब व्हाट दे विल डू दीज पीपल कैन प्रोड्यूस सेकेंडरी डॉक्यूमेंट्स प्राइमरी डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस आफ्टर एनपीआर इफ यू आर अनेबल टू प्रूव यू आर इंडियन सिटीजन देन यू विल बी गिवन वन मोर चांस इन व्हिच यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस सेकेंडरी डॉक्यूमेंट बट फॉर दैट यू हैव टू गो टू अ प्लेस नोन एज फॉरनर्स ट्राइब्यूनल Foreigners Tribunal is exclusive to Assam, but now, as per the order of Ministry of Home Affairs 2019, all the DMs are empowered to establish a Foreigners Tribunal in every district of India, and plus a detention camp. In every district of India, a Foreigners Tribunal will be there as per the 2019 order of Ministry of Homes, plus. दे विल बी अ डिटेंशन सेंटर अब यहाँ पे कौन जाएगा द पीपल हु आर अनेबल टू प्रूव दे आर इंडियन दे ऑल विल बी सेंड टू अ डिटेंशन सेंटर ठीक है ऑल दो पीपल विल है चांस दे विल गो टू फॉरनर्स ट्राइब्यूनल वेयर दे कैन प्रोड्यूस समथिंग वी कॉल सेकेंडरी डॉक्यूमेंट सेकेंडरी डॉक्यूमेंट्स लाइक पंचायत सर्टिफिकेट लाइक यूनिवर्सिटी सर्टिफिकेट दीज आर सेकेंडरी डॉक्यूमेंट यू कैन प्रोड्यूस अब प्रॉब्लम कहा है यहाँ प्रॉब्लम ये है दैट इफ यू आर अ कनेक्टेड एंड पावरफुल पर्सन यू कैन गेट एनी सर्टिफिकेट मान लेते यू केम फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश योर पेरेंट्स केम फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश इलीगल इमिग्रेंट बट सम हाउ दे हैव बीन डूइंग बिजनेस इन इंडिया एंड यू गॉट आधार कार्ड पैन कार्ड एंड नाउ यू हैव बिकम एन आईएएस ऑफिसर एंड यू विल बी आस्क्ड टू प्रूव योर सबको बोला जाएगा रिमेंबर ये नहीं कि आप आईएएस हो तो आपको नहीं बोला जाएगा हर व्यक्ति से बोला जाएगा प्रूव योर सिटीजनशिप इंक्लूडिंग आवर पॉलिटिशियन सबसे बोला जाएगा Anyone who could not prove, Malati or an IAS officer, or prove me, can't prove Indian. No, he to gay gay. It just be gay. Sab kuch gaya. But nonetheless, you have a friend. Aap nahi ho, aapka dost abhi bhi hai. You will call your friend ki, bhai, I want a certificate, birth certificate. Issue kar do. That person will issue a birth certificate. Agar aapko dekhna hai, वैसे भी आपको पता ही होगा, you can go to government office, give some money, वो कुछ भी बना देते हैं. There are a lot of people who do not deserve to EWS. उनके पास EWS certificate है. तीस सौ रुपए चलो ठीक है. so this is the problem that this law will hurt whom the poor the middle class will get poor if you want to see this you can see a documentary on assam nrc wo maine notes mein likh diya hai assam mein 1980s mein uh, 1971 mein there was a war of bangladesh large number of people from uh, what you call bangladesh flew toward india and i told you the tribals have a different understanding of loyalty toward land tribals have a different understanding they love the land they worship land they worship forest so these people were heard that these foreigners are settling in india and getting citizenship so what they did is they launched a movement known as all assam student union they launched a movement the government was pressurized rajiv gandhi government signed an agreement known as assam accord assam accord mein it was agreed that government of india will identify every bangladeshi Anyone who has come to India before 1971, their citizens, their right to vote will be taken for 10 years. 10 years के लिए they cannot vote. Anyone who came after 1971 in India will be fined out, detained, and deported to Bangladesh. 
that was the provision you agree, government of india agreed with some student union it could not implement and after that supreme court ordered this ki do this if you have promised you have to do this then supreme court monitored assam nrc happened in this assam nrc 1 10 lakh people are no longer indian citizen question is unka karoge kya now you have 10 lakh people in assam who are not citizens of india what would you do do you think bangladesh will take them aap khud sochiye kal america jaise there are lot of indians who illegally immigrant to immigrate to america <laughs> yes why they immigrate to america because america has a concept of just solely absolute just solely it means if you are born on american soil even if your parents are not american the person is american that's why a lot of people from developing countries they take risk of life to get into america so that they can give a birth on american soil in such a you are a pregnant woman you are going through this ordeal up illegal way say using trafficking networks you are entering into america you are in third trimester the only thing you want to achieve is giving a birth on the american soil because if you give birth on american soil that kid will be american citizen by birth even though you are not that's why a lot number of people take risk to go to america and that's why bangladesh is known as india's mexico problem what is bangladesh known as bangladesh is known as india's mexico problem because large number of people from mexico try to get into america and large number of indians too ab imagine kariye government of america detain large number of indians and try to deport them to india ke india lega aise logo ko india se hame kya pata kon hai because nobody will take them these people have led maan lete hain they came in 1971 ab to 50 saal ho gaye these people have been living in for 50 years in india they may have kids and grandkids now and now you are asking to deport them first of all bangladesh mar jayega par lega nahi unhe first thing and you cannot pressurize bangladesh to take them kyun because ha because you like somebody if you pressurize that person to say kabool hai that person will say kabool hai to somebody else theek hai because aapki jagah pe aur bhi log line mein lage hue hain so there are other person in bangladesh cases china if you pressurize bangladesh too much and bangladesh get angry bangladesh can join pakistan china nexus and problem we have is india and northeast is connected by a narrow corridor known as siliguri corridor it's 100 km wide north pe china is already there and if bangladesh join the chinese nexus they can close that gap and cut northeast from india and we would not have direct direct land connect to india sorry northeast india isliye bangladesh hamara fayda uthata hai when you will do iir you will understand we have given so many benefits to bangladesh we have even given a large exclusive economic zone in the seas to bangladesh itna kuch humne kyon kiya because we know and even bangladesh knows that india need bangladesh because of that narrow corridor known as india's chicken neck clear hai to you cannot pressurize bangladesh aur jab ye assam nrc ho raha tha na bangladesh saaf shabdon mein keh diya tha hum nahi jante kaun log hai so you have a problem here you have 10 lakh non indians living on your soil in your detention camps and you cannot deport them pehle wo kuch bhi kar rahe the they were doing some jobs or whatever they were doing they were earning and surviving now they are your liability because you are not citizen of india so you cannot have a job you cannot start business you cannot have property you cannot get married nothing is available to you ab imagine kijiye aapke case mein you are preparing for civil services assam nrc happens in india one day before prelims the report come you are non citizen aap to pagla jaoge of course you have spent so much time in civil service exam and one day before prelims the report comes and you are non citizen of india so it means you cannot appear for the prelims and you have prepared for example three or four years and you have taken so many risk so you are like up to revolution hoga kya karenge <laughs> then you will be like you will be like ab main sabka badla lega faisal khan ban jaoge tum log पाकिस्तान एंड चाइना टू कन्विंस दीज टेन लैख पीपल 
that take up arms. Maan lete you have nothing, and I promise you, I will take care of your family. Send them to Pakistan or send them to China. But only thing you have to do is take up arms and kill some people. Aap kenge with pleasure. Because what? Why you are doing all this drama? Why you are paying for civil service or drama? Of course, you have a good family. Take care of your parents, wife, adura pyar, jo bhi hai. ठीक है. These things you want to do, but now you have nothing. बात समझ वाले problem. Problem ये है that if you find out non-citizens of India, उनके साथ करोगे क्या? Clear? तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा? Foreign tribunals. You will go to foreign tribunal to prove you are Indian citizen by secondary documents. If you cannot prove, then there is one option known as C A A. आप समझते हैं बड़ी C A. C A A says that if you are anyone except Muslim, Hindu, Sikh, Christian, whatever, except Muslim, and from three countries, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, then you can claim India citizenship by naturalization. दोबारा रिपीट करता हूँ. C A A says if you are anyone Hindu, Sikh, Christian, Buddhist, except Muslims from these three countries, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Afghanistan, then you can claim India citizenship by naturalization. So in this entire process, who will be left off? Muslims. But I can guarantee Muslims will not remain. Only the poor people will be left off. Same happened in Assam and Rc. Assam and Rc, when the narrative was created that all the people who came from Bangladesh are Muslims. But when Assam and Rc happened, 10 lakh people were excluded from India citizenship. 80 percent of them are Hindus. So Assam and Rc, where 10 lakh, where 80 percent, what came out? Hindus. And this is now the party in power is saying this NRC is wrong. We have to redo the NRC. Problem समझ में आ रही है आपको सबको? If you do the NRC again, I am repeating that India is not a dharam shala. That anyone can come. ये भी नहीं चलेगा. We have to find out who is Indian. We have to have a base. The problem ये है कि if you find out non-Indians, उनका करोगे क्या? Let's create a parallel. Nazi Germany में there were laws passed known as Nuremberg laws. Nuremberg laws de-citizenized Jews. Now Jew were non not citizen of Germany. Now there was a problem. They were in detention camps. A problem here to Hitler के पास. If I throw them out of the country, the world will get to know that Jews uh, Jews were being persecuted. If I keep them in the country, then they are drained on the resources of Germany. So the thing they find out is a bad word known as final solution. The final solution to the Jew problem was kill them all. हम ये कर नहीं पाएंगे. Why? Because India is a democracy, and today you have mobile phone. Imagine करिए, imagine करिए, a pregnant girl in a detention camp. In unsanitary conditions, she gives a birth. The child dies. The mother dies. Somebody captures that on the phone, and it is circulated on social media. कितनी इज्जत होगी इंडिया की? Understand? The mother of democracy will convert from mother to something else. Soft power. Soft power means power of attraction. That will be lost, and it will damage India's reputation around the world. फिर हम क्या बोल के दुनिया में शहर दिखाएंगे? क्या होता है अभी? Whenever Pakistan says ना That in, that India, me Muslim are persecuted. We open and say that we have had Muslim president, we have had Muslim commander in army. You can show me any Hindu who have become your president. So, that Pakistan can't say anything. But if we do this, we will lose our moral ground. Understand? We are at high moral ground right now. They are not. But if we do this, we will be at lower moral ground. Then how would we defend our reputation? Clear? Hai? So the two problems here. Pella problem, which is practical problem. What would you do with non-citizens? Would you throw them in the seas, or would you throw them in Bangladesh? Yeah, yeah. So rocket launchers, so what happens? Okay. Nothing can happen. Bangladesh will not take them. Afghanistan will not take them. Pakistan will not take them. They will be your burden, and it will give incentives to China and Pakistan to radicalize them for terrorism. So basically, you will create potential bombs. क्लियर है इसलिए इसके खिलाफ प्रोटेस्ट हुआ था एंड दिस क्रोलॉजी मैंने नहीं बनाई है दिस क्रोलॉजी वाज सेड बाय अमित शाह हिमसेल्फ देयर इज अ क्लिप यू कैन गूगल अमित शाह वाज सेइंग इन द क्लिप आप क्रोलॉजी समझ लीजिए ठीक है पहले एनपीआर होगा फिर एनआरआईसी होगा फिर सीएए आएगा दिस इज व्हाट ही सेड इन अ पॉपुलर क्लिप वायरल क्लिप एंड दैट्स व्हाई द प्रोटेस्ट हैपेंड 
because there was a fear among the minority community that they will be excluded from india citizenship which i believe aisa nahi hoga but what will happen the poor will suffer agar aapko ek ek aur practical cheez dekhiye india mein except for upper caste nobody has documentation of property because upper caste has been holding property in india since centuries मेजोरिटी ऑफ द लोअर का जमींदारी क्या था जमींदारी में ऑल ओवर अपर कास्ट हो सकता है एक दो व्यक्ति ओबीसी से होगा एस सी पे सवाल ही नहीं होता तो द लोअर कम्युनिटी दे वुड हैव टू प्रूव अ बर्डन दे विल कैन नेवर जैसे मेरे केस में अगर वो पूछेंगे तो आई कैन प्रूव माय फादर माय ग्रैंड फादर वाज जमींदार तो वी कैन इजीली प्रूव कि माय ग्रैंड फादर माय ग्रेट ग्रैंड फादर वाज इन इंडिया हाउ वुड अ एससी पर्सन और ट्राइबल पर्सन हुज फैमिलीज और पेरेंट्स नेवर हैड एनी ओनरशिप वो कैसे प्रूव करेंगे दे वर इन इंडिया बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट उसमें कौन बनाता था पेरेंट्स के पास यूजली नहीं होता था जैसे अभी दिल्ली असेंबली में व्हेन दिस ड्रामा हैपन दिल्ली असेंबली में द स्पीकर आस दिल्ली असेंबली स्पीकर आस हाउ मेनी ऑफ द एमएलएज हैव बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट रेज द हैंड एक बंदे ने हाथ उठाया सो आउट ऑफ 70 एमएलए इन दिल्ली असेंबली केवल एक के पास बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट है तो प्रॉब्लम ये है एट दैट पॉइंट देखिए हमारी जनरेशन में तो बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट है सबके पास लेकिन पीपल बिफोर अस दे डिड नॉट हैव यूज्ड टू हैव बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट कोई बनवाता नहीं था कोई इतना इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट था नहीं वो सबको समझ में आ रहा है द प्रॉब्लम हियर भी और इस समय में कितना खर्च करेंगे करोड़ों रुपए वी विल स्पेंड अ कंट्री जिसमें अभी हमने पहली न्यूज में क्या पढ़ा था अ चाइल्ड मैरिज प्रॉब्लम न्यूट्रिशन प्रॉब्लम हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम यू हैव सो मेनी इश्यूज इन इंडिया एंड यू विल स्पेंड बिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स ऑन दिस एक्सरसाइज एट द एंड ऑफ विच यू विल फाइंड नथिंग मोर देन पोटेंशियल बॉम्ब्स तो इसका सॉल्यूशन क्या है ओनली वन फर्स्ट have a free and open debate in parliament and do not call anyone anti national if they reject your ideas first find the solution karenge kya inka ek bar aapko mil jaye a consensus is built among the parties and among the people that once we will find this non indians this what we will do ab wo jo bhi hoga mujhe nahi pata then do this exercise agar aapne exercise pehle kar li and then you have a debate ki ab inka karna kya hai आप नहीं पाओगे आंसर क्लियर है सबको तो दिस कुड बी द ओनली सॉल्यूशन दैट आई हैव थॉट ऑफ आपके दिमाग में कुछ आया तो आप भी कर लेना क्लियर अब जल्दी से हम देख लेते हैं क्या क्या है इसमें सब कुछ लिखा हुआ है वैसे कोई नई चीज है तो देख लेते हैं देर वर सम आर्ग्यूमेंट जैसे हर्ष मंडल यू कैन और कुछ भी मैंने आपको बताया इफ यू हैव टू राइट एनी थिंग एन यू हैव टू गवर्नमेंट खुद मत करा करो यूज स्कॉलर तो यू विल से यू विल से हर्ष मंडल हैज कॉल्ड दिस एज नेशनल रजिस्टर ऑफ एक्सक्लूजन मैं ऐसा कुछ नहीं कह रहा हूं हर्ष मंडल सेकेंड थिंग अब्दुल कलाम आजाद सैड दैट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द रूरल पॉपुलेशन एनी वेयर इन द कंट्री वुड नॉट बी एबल टू प्रूव देयर सीजनशिप बिकॉज बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट जो मैंने आपको बताया वर रेयर मोस्ट ऑफ दैम डिड नॉट अटेंड स्कूल एंड मेजोरिटी ऑफ दैम डिड नॉट हैव लैंड रिकॉर्ड लैंड रिकॉर्ड आज के लिए नहीं है इंडिया में the maximum number of disputes in the court are property disputes land records aaj ke liye nahi tab ke kya honge and plus many of them were landless and that is what you will study in modern indian history land reforms wahan pe aapko ye padhaya jayega detail mein it is the biggest problem in india land reforms are very pathetic in india and land titles clear hi nahi hai india mein so these problems you have तो वट ही इज आर्ग्यू तो ये लाइन आप पेल देना जब भी आपको पेलना हो इंटरव्यू में बोलो तो ये बोल देना देन यू विल से मैं सर इससे अग्री नहीं करता बट नंद ये बोला है इसने दैट इट विल बी ह्यूज इट विल परपेट्रेशन ऑफ ह्यूज इन जस्टिस ऑन द पीपल हु विल रन फ्रॉम पिलर टू पोस्ट टू प्रूव दियर सिटीजनशिप ऑल्सो थाउजेंड आर लिविंग इन हेलिश डिटेंशन सेंटर विद अ फ्लैगरेंट वॉयेशन ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन गारंटी इंटरनेशनल लॉ क्वेश्चन जो इसने भी रेस किया है क्वेश्चन ये है Union and state governments are silent about what would happen to these foreigners. ये तो बता दो भाई करोगे क्या इनका? Congratulations, you have found 20 crore non-Indians out of 140 crores. अभी 20 crore is a big amount. What would you do with this 20 crores? That's the question he has raised. Because union government has no treaty for extradition in with Bangladesh. हमारी कोई treaty है ही नहीं और वैसे भी Pakistan तो कतई नहीं रहेगा पाकिस्तान से हम बात ही नहीं कर रहे हैं लेगा क्या पाकिस्तान विल नॉट टेक दिस पीपल बांग्लादेश अफगानिस्तान विल नॉट टेक दिस पीपल इवन दो वी आर टॉकिंग विद बांग्लादेश इवन बांग्लादेश विल नॉट टेक दिस पीपल 
इसमें एक और प्रॉब्लम थी इस लॉ में वाई यू हैवेंट इंक्लूडेड तमिलियंस दे आर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ तमिलियंस हुआ लिविंग इन इंडिया एज रेफ्यूजीज हु केम इन इंडिया बिकॉज ऑफ श्रीलंकन सिविल वॉर पता नहीं हिस्ट्री किसी ने पढ़ाई है नहीं पढ़ाई हिस्ट्री में देर है Where a country tried to to away, take away the citizenship of a community, and the result was civil war. Sri Lanka prime example. Hai. Myanmar me dekhiye same thing. Myanmar government passed the law on citizenship. It outlawed the citizenship for Rohingya Muslims. And look what is happening in Myanmar. Same Sri Lanka me. Sri Lanka passed the law of citizenship, which took away the citizenship of Hindu Tamilians. And look what happened to Sri Lanka. Civil war that ended in two thousand seven and nine, I believe. लार्ज नंबर ऑफ तमिलियंस आर लिविंग इन इंडिया आर्ग्यूमेंट ये है इफ यू हैव अ गुड हार्ट एंड यू आर कंसर्न अबाउट प्रोसिक्यूटेड हिंदू वाई यू हैव नॉट इंक्लूडेड श्रीलंका द लार्ज नंबर ऑफ तमिलियंस हिंदू तमिलियंस हु केम फ्रॉम श्रीलंका ड्यूरिंग श्रीलंकन सिविल वॉर दे आर लिविंग इन तमिलनाडु इन अदर स्टेट लाइक रेफ्यूजीज गिव दैम सिटीजनशिप ऑल्सो बट प्रॉब्लम यह श्रीलंका इज अ बुद्धिस्ट मेजोरिटी कंट्री so that narrative that muslims are the bad people muslim countries are the bad remember neither muslims are bad nor hindus are bad only governments are bad that to radical governments are bad chahe myanmar ki buddhist government ho chahe sri lanka ki buddhist government ho chahe pakistan ki muslim government ho all these governments are radical when aap ko soche buddhism the most pacifist religion buddhism or violence match hi nahi karta That religion may you have a problem, so it means religion is not a problem. The political manipulation of religion is a problem. बात समझ में आ रही है तो these are the arguments presented, not of mine. इन दोनों के ने देख लेना. बाकी C A वगैरह है देख लो यार अब मैं क्या पढ़ाऊँ इसमें. हाँ एक point मैं बोला था भूल गया. C A does not apply to sixth schedule. हाँ ये point मैं भूल गया था. That C A A does not apply to sixth schedule states. And why they were excluded? Same reason I told you. बिकॉज असम में पूरी लड़ाई इसीलिए हुई थी दे वॉन्ट टू एक्सक्लूड फॉरनर्स एंड नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव सिटीजनशिप टू द फॉरनर्स बिकॉज एटी परसेंट ऑफ द टेन लैख पीपल क्या है हिंदूज है दे कैन क्लेम सी ए तो नॉट ओनली द मुस्लिम कम्युनिटीज वर प्रोटेस्टिंग इन इंडिया जैसे दिल्ली में शाहीन बाग इवन दे वॉज अज प्रोटेस्ट इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट वो बात अलग है मीडिया ने उससे कवर नहीं करा बिकॉज दे इज वर हिंदूज प्रोटेस्टिंग यहाँ पे दे कैन प्ले द नेरेटिव ऑफ हिंदू एंड मुस्लिम तो एनी वे मैंने आपको पहले भी बताया बाबा बोल रहा हूँ ऑफ माई लाइफ द ओनली थ्रेट टू इंडिया डेमोक्रेसी एंड हैप्पीनेस इज इंडिया मीडिया और कोई हमें थ्रेट नहीं है इनको सुधार ले तो आज ही वैसे ही सुधर जानी है हमारी क्लियर है चलो अब देखता हूँ बाहर दिल्ली पुलिस खड़ी उनसे मिलकर आता हूँ मैं ठीक है दिस इज वट आई हैड एक कोई और न्यूज भी है क्या इसमें आई थिंक दिस वॉज द लास्ट वन अच्छा एक और पॉइंट है देख लेते टाइम है हमारे पास इंडिया रेफ्यूजी पॉलिसी How India treats refugees? Because refugees are the people who are not the citizen of a country who nonetheless want to live in that country. So those are known as refugees. India has not enacted any national refugee law, nor it has signed the 1951 Refugee Convention. Now we have the 1951 ka Refugee Convention signed. Kiya hai. Neither we have signed this convention, nor we are uh, we have enacted any refugee law. So how India treats refugees? India treats refugee under these laws: Passport Act, the Registration of Foreigners Act, and Citizenship Act. And the principles, the three principles governing India's refugee policy, was given by Nehru. Nehru in Parliament gave these principles regarding Tibetan refugees. You know, na Tibetan when Tibet when China captured last number Tibetan traveled to India. उनके बारे में. So the refugee will be given humane welcome. Refugee issue is a Bilateral issue and once the normalcy come to the homeland, they must go back. So right now, India's refugee policy has three principles. Number one, if you are a refugee, refugee are a person who wants to live in this country. They are not citizen because they fear the threat to their life in their native country. So refugee are a person who fear the threat of their life. Clear? Hai? Ab isme there are three principles that any refugee who comes to India will be given humane welcome. Second thing, it's a bilateral issue between India and concerned country. And third thing, once normalcy come, they must go back. A problem ka hai because 
India cannot forcefully deport anyone. Even if we find these people, we cannot forcefully deport them. Why? Because India is signatory to UN Charter, the Constitution of UN. And UN Charter and international law has a principle known as Notesman nahi hai to se likh lijiye non refoulement. India is signatory to UN Charter and international laws, particularly United Nations Declaration of Human Rights, UDHR. And under this, there is a principle known as principle of non-refoulement. Uh, what does it say? It says that any country cannot deport anyone to a land where their life is under threat. So what does non-refoulement say? Any country, any country says that they cannot deport anyone, whether legal or illegal person, if their life is under threat in that land. Means, if Rohingyas are in India, we cannot forcefully deport them to Myanmar because Myanmar may their life will be under threat and we will be in the violation of non refoulement Same apply to USA. The Indians who have entered illegally in USA and if those people can successfully claim in US court that our life in India is under threat, then US cannot deport them. Why do illegally? Kyo na ho? This is called principle of non refoulement So the problem is, if we forcefully deport them, then India will violate this principle. They will put India behind bars. India is a country, not a person. But understand, I have told you, soft power. The image of India, the mother of democracy, will suffer a big blow. And that honor or the reputation India has in the world's stature, why Pakistan is not respected? Recently, passport index hai, which talks about the quality of passport. Pakistan is the least fifth, just above Libya, Afghanistan. India is very high. Bahut achha nahi hai, but hai. If these kind of things you will do, ab sochiye, Middle East iska kya karega? When you will do this, do you think Middle East will react on this? Of course. Middle Eastern countries are Muslim countries. And if you do this NRC and NIC, they will react. Because, huh? sorry? Yes, and 85% of India's energy depends on Middle East. If you have drama, then India's economy will be in peril. If you have a petrol, you will have to pay for 2,000. Because 85% of oil comes from Middle East. And they will not be able to do anything. Because Islam has a concept, which is called. Muslim Umha Ulema Nahi Bhai Muslim Umha U double M A H Muslim Umha says it's the concept of Islam that all Muslims are one Is that what you want to notice? Muslims around the world go to Syria go to recent May this Gaza to fight against Israel Why? Because Islam believes in the unity of people now you can't blame this because the modern state concept originated in the 17th century. In which country you live, in which there is a territory, there is a territory, a population and a sovereign. This concept originated in the 17th century. TT of Westphalia, which I told you earlier. For new people, listen to it. State is a legal concept. The state's definition is a territory with a population and a sovereign. What kind of territory? Fixed territory. They say nowadays, you know, India has a border, Pakistan has a border, Russia has a border. Nature has not made this border. Humans have made this border. And these borders are made because we all believe in a fixed territory. Divide, we all, humanity is one. We are divided by nationality depending on the territory we live. And this is a very new concept. It originated in 1648. By the Treaty of Westphalia. Westphalia is a place in Germany. There this treaty was found out. Islam came in 7th century. And this modern state concept came in 17th century. Then how come a religion of 7th century can have a value of 17th century? I always told you our morality, our dictates depend upon what time we live in. Depending on that, something can become criminal or something can become normal. 
as i always take the example sati during uh, medieval india or even modern india during british time sati was a common sense then rm roy for today sati is not a common sense if someone advocates sati today you will be calling that person evil us samay mein if someone was advocating sati was normal someone advocating against sati was evil is rm roy ke isme rm roy is his own family when he said abolish sati his own family protested against him and why it happens i always told you they, that there are two kind of people conformist and deviants deviants are the people who challenge norms and conformists are the people who obey norms they do not challenge their caste their gender their religion their patriarchy they accept it jo dharm bhagwan ne jo dharm maa baap ne diye le liya jo religion maa baap ne diya le liya jo caste maa baap ne diye le li jo narratives maa baap ne diye samaj ne diya school ne diya colleges ne diya le liya they never challenge that they never question reality there are very few people who question reality and they bring change but problem ye hai they are never respected in their time aap kisi bhi revolutionary ko utha lena they were never respected in their time baad mein unki respect hui because they talk something which is beyond the time of that time clear hai sabko so please remember non reformment and please remember state so muslim countries will react if we do this muslim countries will react and that reaction can be very dangerous for india's foreign policy so by doing this exercise you will hurt india society unnecessary divisions will be there you will hurt india's economy billions of dollar you will spend the money you can spend on health education welfare ir drama and most important you will lose soft power in the world you will give a tool at the hand of pakistan like country china like country to defame india around the world so they, it, i don't see any benefit of this exercise except political benefit so we need to find a common ground ki when you will find these people unke sath karenge kya hum once it is decided fir kar lo clear hai everyone clear any question un kya karega important body hai wo un kuch nahi kar sakta because india is a country un kya kar lega hamare khilaf because understand india bangladesh kuch small level pe bhi kar bilkul hai यूएन में एक बॉडी है आपके पास रेफ्यूजी को लेके पर वो करेगी क्या बिकॉज दीज आर नेशनल पॉलिसीज अब मैं डिटेल में नहीं आ सकता बिकॉज आया जब हम पढ़ेंगे तब हम समझेंगे इन चीजों को मैंने आपको बताया भी होगा राइट विंग राइज इज हैपनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड उसके क्या रीजन है जैसे इंडिया में बीजेपी राइज अमेरिका में रिपब्लिकन पार्टी कंजर्वेटिव पार्टी यूके में वाई राइट विंग पार्टीज आर राइजिंग इन पावर अराउंड द वर्ल्ड ग्लोबलाइजेशन की रीजन और भी रीजन है वन इज ग्लोबलाइजेशन दे आर राइजिंग इन पावर एंड दे आर एक्सट्रीम नेशनलिस्ट जैसे इफ यू नो दिस सी दिस पैटर्न क्राइम अगेंस्ट इंडियन एंड चाइनीज आर इंक्रीजिंग अराउंड द वर्ल्ड अब हर दिन सुनते हैं एन इंडियन वॉज शॉर्ट डाउन इन अमेरिका सम स्टूडेंट वॉज ब्रिटेन इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया क्यों हो रहा है राइट विंग नेशनलिज्म दे आर प्रमोटिंग अमेरिका में दे आर प्रमोटिंग वाइट सुप्रीमेसी इंडिया में मुझे नहीं पता क्या हो रहा है ठीक है बाकी कंट्रीज थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग तो एक बड़ा गेम चल रहा है आई आर वेन यू विल डू यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस गेम इन डिटेल यहाँ पे टाइम कम हम कर नहीं पाएंगे ठीक है चलिए आई होप एवरीवन इज क्लियर सो दिस इज आई हेड फॉर यू आई थिंक हमारा सारा कुछ तो हो गया यार कुछ बचा है क्या हैं बाकी पढ़ लोगे बड़े ओबीडियंट लोग यार तुम पिछली बार हमने क्या क्या पढ़ा था क्या पढ़े थे पिछली बार का भी याद अच्छा कुछ नहीं इसमें फार्मा मैन्युफैक्चरिंग न्यू रूल्स आए हैं इसमें बस एक टर्म आप याद कर लेना गुड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिस government has brought new pharma rules under a law that governs india with drugs and cos ha to theek hai drug and cosmetic rules mein amendment aaya under drug and cosmetic act that governs your medicines and other things isme new rule mein they have introduced something called good manufacturing practice pehle bhi tha they have strengthened this good manufacturing practice kya hoti hai proper sanitation proper hygiene proper scientific output iska fayda kya hota hai If you use this practice, you can apply it for WHO GMP certification. मतलब, if you are making a medicine in India, you cannot import that to the world. If you want to import that to the world, you require certificate from WHO. This certificate name is WHO GMP certification. But उसके लिए some standards are there. Just for example, your laboratory must have this much of space. 
this ventilation, this facilities. When you have these facilities, you get a GMP tag. And then you get WHO GMP certificate. Once you get that, you can export your medicine and vaccines around the world. So government has mandated that every laboratory in India working on medicine, vaccine, whatever, they must comply with WHO's GMP regulation. What will this benefit? India's export on medicine will increase. Clear to everyone? So this is a small part. Okay? So bye-bye then. Have a nice day. We'll meet again tomorrow. Sir, a question. Harvard Daily Scholar suggested a solution for the CA. कोई सॉल्यूशन का प्रॉपर है नहीं ऐसा पॉलिटिकल नैरेटिव ये मैंने सोचा था इफ यू कैन फाइंड समथिंग ऑन इंटरनेट और सम स्कॉलर तो देख लेना मुझे इसके अलावा कोई समझ नहीं आया कि क्या कर सकते हैं हम इसका ओके सर ठीक है चलिए बाय बाय देन वी विल मीट अगेन नेक्स्ट सैटरडे फिर अदर करंट सेफिन ठीक है बाय बाय